And here we are in the tea bushes. What you're seeing, this is where the nation's favorite drink is made of, the tea bush, Camellia sinensis, growing in um, very hot places of the world, of course, but it likes moist um, areas in high altitude mountains. So that's when Eden thought like, wait a second, cool, moist, we have that, we can grow them outside. And luckily they're doing all right. And this is the tea bush where women, don't ask me why, it's women, they pick by hand, they pick two leaves and the bud. And that's what being picked from the bush goes in a big basket on your back and then it's been carried off to big open factories. Um, gets fermented, that's your black tea, gets fermented and then gets a big blast of um, hot steam to stop the fermentation process after so many hours, eight to 24 or so. And then it just gets broken into finer grading, get graded and that's your black tea. But if you like green tea, then it's the same bush, same picking of two leaves and one bud, but it's not fermented at all. It's just steamed and dried and that's it, your green tea. That's why you shouldn't actually pour boiling hot water straight onto your green tea because it just gets scalded and burnt. You want that to quiet down for two minutes before you pour it on. Then there's something in between as well. It's oolong tea, very nice. And it's only fermented for like four hours. And there's another thing as well. There is white tea now as well on the Western market and white tea is only from the bud, no leaves involved there. So that's your tea, how it's roughly made.